Welcome back to the lab. Today we are taking a look at the Ugreen CM630 HD video capture card. I bought this card on Amazon Prime Day for about 28 US dollars. The specification of this card says it supports 4K HDMI input at 60 Hz. However, I found that to be a bit misleading. While it's true that it can pass through a 4K signal to a monitor, it does however only support capturing that signal at 1080p at 60 Hz. Now I think the most common use case for cards like this is capturing live streams of gaming. However, my use case is different. I want to capture the screen of a PC. While you can usually do that just using screen recording software, there are some situations when that does not work. For example, capturing the post screen of a BIOS when a PC starts up or capturing the BIOS setup screen. Other examples could be capturing low level tools such as Memtest 86, dry partitioning tools and other tools like that. Will this capture card work for that purpose? Well, let's find out. So here we have the Ugreen HD video capture card. And on the back side we can see the specifications. And it doesn't have a specific model number. Maybe we'll see that later. Let's go ahead and open it. And see what's inside the box. Okay, so there's some tape here we get to get rid of. And for some reason Amazon decided to put the address label here, so I had to tear that off. That's why it's this messy here. Okay, so inside the box we get the capture card itself. We will look at that later. And then we get cables I think in here yeah this is an uh, HDMI to HDMI cable and then we get another cable and this is a USB-C which converts to USB-A and in the other end we have USB-C and then we also get instruction, user instruction, capture card. Actually, here says the model number CM630. Okay. And this is some kind of quick start guide, actually, for OBS Studio, which is nice. I will be trying out this later. Let's get it out of here and let's open the card itself so here is the actual capture card uh, you get two slots here one for microphone and one for headphone and then on the sides there's nothing but on the other side we get USB-C, probably for power and maybe for also for video. HDMI out, HDMI in. Okay, so this has loop through, so you can put HDMI in here, then out here, and then you get the capture using USB-C, I guess. Let's see. Maybe it's in the manual. to connect so you see here HDMI HDMI in uh, at 4k 60 Hertz and then out the same but this is just pass through I think and then the capture happens here and there's some different scenarios here in the manual how to connect and then you have one for gaming console so the gaming console should go in here and then you get it to the regular monitor or TV and then you get the recording to the PC. So the recording is USB-C. Another scenario is for camera. And the camera just goes in and then you record it. And then you have gaming PC. PC goes in, out the monitor and then we record USB-C. And then on the other side it's in uh, different languages. Okay, so that's what's in the manual. 
And then we have the quick start guide. The first page of the quick start guide says video, video capturing configuration. And you got three steps here, how to do it in OBS Studio. And then on the other side you has OBS Studio quick start guide for audio capturing configuration. So let's try to get this connected up and test it out. So now I connected this portable monitor here to this computer here. This computer is just a simple setup I built uh, on a plexiglass. If you want to see how that was done, I have a separate video about that. I will put a card on screen so you can follow that if you want to watch that. But the idea here now is to capture the BIOS post screen and the BIOS setup screen and the screen that comes after. And in this case, that's no boot device since there's nothing installed here. So let's see how that looks without any capturing going on. Power on the computer and we get the post screen here. And then after that, we get the no boot device screen. Let's try it one more time and enter the BIOS setup this time. So we will reset the computer. Hit delete and we get into the BIOS like this. Now let's try and capture all this. So we power off and we add the capture card. So here is the capture card and let's disconnect the portable monitor from the computer and connect it to HDMI out here on the capture card. And then let's take the cable that came with the capture card here and connect it from the computer to the capture card HDMI in. And then finally, let's connect USB-C here. And this USB-C cable then goes to my desktop computer and the desktop computer will be running OBS Studio. Okay, so here we have OBS Studio and this capture card is a UVC card, which is USB video class. So it doesn't require any drivers in Windows. And so it should just work. So let's try and add a video capture device here. And yes, it's found the Ugreen HDMI capture here. And currently we're getting this yellow, no signal. And the video capture card is outputting this when there is no signal. So let's try and power on the computer and see what happens. And now the computer started and we're getting this video format not supported. So I did a bunch of testing off camera with this and it seems like it's not so easy to capture the, the post screen actually because there's a, a strange resolution going on or something like that and it's supposed to be edited communication between the capture card and the computer to negotiate the resolution but th this seems to not work all of the time sometimes it actually works so what I can do is I can disconnect the computer and then we go back to no signal and then I connect the computer again and sometimes when I do this it will actually capture the picture so not this time, let's try it again. Oh. Let's try that one more time. So now it doesn't want to do it. But another way I found I can do it is if I remove the capture device here. And then I remove the capture card from the USB-C connector and then reconnect it. And then re-add the capture device. And now it will actually display the text. So technically it's possible to display the text, but it seems that it doesn't want to sync up properly. It syncs up sometimes. One time I even got the post screen to sync up, but it's very rare that that happens actually. So if I disconnect the computer now again, and then no signal, and then reconnect it. See, now again we have video format not supported. So it seems it's uh, rare to get it to sync up, but if it do sync up, it will capture the display. So let's try another thing. I have a DVI to HDMI converter here. So let's power off the computer and connect to this adapter and then connect to DVI instead. I also tried a bunch of bio settings, but none of that helped. So let's try the DVI connector. And as you can see here, we got the post screen 
and we got the uh, no boat device screen when using the DVI connector. Let's control alt delete to reset to see if it works one more time. Yeah, it also works this time. And I found that the DVI port works a lot better. Sometimes you get the video mode not supported, but most of the time it works. So I don't know why, but the HDMI connector seems to be harder for this uh, capture card to sync than the DVI with adapter to HDMI. Now let's also try to enter the BIOS. And this actually works without the adapter. So we can remove the adapter, go directly to HDMI, reset the computer, and press delete during the startup. And actually the BIOS screen works well with the HDMI connector without going through the DVI. So probably there's some kind of video mode switch going on when you go into the BIOS that initializes the uh, capture card and makes it work. Let's conclude with some final thoughts about the Ugreen capture card. Did it work for recording the BIOS screen? Well, the answer to that is sometimes. For the computer I tried with, it would reliably capture the BIOS setup screen. However, it did not reliably capture the post screen. From what I read about this problem, it could be due to the capture card not being able to sync up with the signal from the computer. To solve this, you can put an HDMI upscaler before the card. However, that seems like a more expensive solution. What I found was that I could work around some of the problems by restarting the capture card. I also found that using the DVI port and an HDMI adapter, I was able to capture the post screen most of the time. So is this card worth it if you want to capture the BIOS screens? I would say since other solutions seem more expensive, buying this or a similar cheap card could be worth a try. That's it for this video. If you found it interesting, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one.